So I'm Catherine, this is Tony. We're Neon Creations. We started off just the two of us, and then over the years, we've grown to seven of us now in total. What we wanted to do was actually do work directly for the customers, so yeah. more one-off pieces of work rather than multiples stuff. So that's kind of the direction we set out yeah. to go in. And it sort of went very quick, didn't yeah. it? A lot of people say to us, oh, Neon's back in fashion. It just moves around from industries, yeah. like, you know, the, the music industry will, will go mad. And or then retail. The retail industry, and at the moment, it just seems to be bars and restaurants. Yeah. But then, it's like we've always said, it's up to us to keep it exciting. Sometimes there are restraints like maybe money or stuff like that that does hold people back but I think you just sometimes need a little bit of confidence to just go well it's outside of our comfort zone but we need to do it if we're going to grow or progress yeah and then as we've grown we've worked with the business growth hub at the time it was kind of like we didn't necessarily know that we needed any particular help with anything but it you know turns out that we've had loads of support so we always had a plan what we wanted to do and it's nice when someone comes in from the outside agrees with exactly what you want to do and gives you that little we'll do it you know don't just talk about it just sort of you know do it make a plan and that and that's sort of what we've done haven't we and, and moved on we were put in touch with the manufacturing side of things, digital and creative, and also the executive development programme, which helped us decide managerially where we wanted to go and what we wanted to do as well. When everything's working well, you, you get very comfortable, but you know you can do a lot more, and you just need someone to say, yeah, come on. It gave us a kick, really, didn't yeah. it? The business growth had coming along. It kind of like pushed us to, to take the next step, really. We've, we've had an additional full-time employee since working with the Growth Hub and I think also the turnover has increased by about 22% as well since we've made that change. The other idea was that it would also bring our lead times down as well and we did manage to bring those down didn't we, by, by a couple of weeks as well. I'm just kind of amazed at how much the Growth Hub wants to help you really because there's all this free support out there that we didn't necessarily know was there to have really. It may just be like a proper company. <laughs> We're very fortunate everyone who works here wants to work here. I've always said everyone involved from be it answering the phone to putting the stickers on a box for labels, you're still involved. In the early days you couldn't really go away on holiday and relax because you're like thinking oh I better be checking emails. emails and stuff like that but you know we can, we can go away for two weeks now and know that things get taken yeah. care of, work still gets out. Like I said we're very fortunate we've got an amazing team. 16 when I started. No one really that age knows what they want or who they are. So I think being in this job has helped me understand what I want to do, where I want to be in my life. I was made to feel very welcome. I, I understood that it was going to be a hard job and it was going to be frustrating at points, but everyone helped me as much as they could. It's good to, to get on with people and have a laugh while you're working, and especially in such a small company. It's important that everyone gets on. You can sort of teach someone how to bend glass, but it's, they've got to really want to learn. You know, Sam's been one of the people that has really wanted to learn, and now it's starting to, to bear fruit for us. I think as well, Tony's not a spring chicken anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to train up younger people, because it relies on a company to take the chance on somebody to, to train somebody up. I would say belief in the product. You know, you, you've got to know what you're doing and want to do what you do. You know, all the time what I do, it never feels like a job. It never does, and it never will, I don't think. You can have the best product in the world sitting there. If no one knows about it, it's not the best product in the world. I think perseverance, because you're always going to get knocked along the way, things are going to set you back, and I think you just need to, to persevere, know what you want to do, and just be prepared to put in the hard work and perseverance to get it, really.